Hello and welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer-songwriter, session musician and vocal coach. So today we're going to be having a look at Dimash Kudaibergen's brand new song. This is called Your Love. He's just released it. Uh, I would have reacted to this sooner, but I was away on holiday. So I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. Uh, I'm excited to see this because obviously it's completely fresh. That means it's something that Dimash is feeling right now, is thinking about right now. Um, I always think that the, the more recent songs the artist connects to more in that moment, so it's going to be really cool to watch and just see how his delivery is different maybe. Um, I mean we, we all know that Dimash connects with the music so much on stage, you can just see it in his face and his body, uh, so we're going to see that anyway, but let's just see if it's any different regardless. And just to let you guys know, I have my own single out at the moment, it's called Ghost. I'm going to leave some links in the description box down below for you to check out if you so wish. I can't wait for you to hear it. So. With that being said, are you ready to watch your love with me? Let's go. Oh, a lovely string arrangement. Ooh, the movement. Almost Disney-esque. a harp in there I hear. Look at the concentration. Okay, so first of all, the composure that Dimash has is incredible. It, that has a direct effect, I think, on his vocal delivery because he's so in control all the time. So of course his vocals are gonna sound extremely controlled. And also in the background, uh, musically, there's these little soft pizzicato strings, those the plucked sounding strings, which adds a delicate layer to this song straight away. Touching on his really low vocals there. A little bit more. Oh! Hang on a second, let's just listen to that phrase one more time. Beautiful. Well, yeah, so lyrically there, what is left of this love beside the pain? Goodness me, so this is quite a hard-hitting song, potentially. We're going to see where the lyrics go. Um, but what I loved about that particular phrase was the movement uh, from that lower chesty vocal up into his more head vocal, slightly falsetto at the top there. Just does it with no stress, no strain, just really nicely moves between those parts of his vocal. Drums are coming in. Such soft vocals. Dynamic build in the music, but Dimash sitting back. Drama. What do you do at night? Do you still care? Do you still share? Mm. It's so interesting how we had that build in the music, he then followed behind that but then punched through with his vocal uh, and, and he's really, again, he's, he's living this song at the moment, lyrically, you can just see how he's feeling these lyrics, I think that's really important when you're on stage, especially in a live scenario, if the audience don't connect with what you're saying, it's just not gonna happen, but he's doing a great job so far and chord changes, I am enjoying them. Harmony. Oh. 
Wow. I love this song. Beautiful. Yes. Do you know what's so great about this is the fact that he gets to open up in such a quick way. So he starts with these sort of softer vocals and then suddenly it's like a punch in the gut. We have these incredible open vocals uh, and, and I don't know if necessarily if he's going to go super crazy in this song towards the end of it like we know that he usually does. I mean maybe he will, I don't know yet. But what I'm confident in is the fact that Dimash is showing off his vocal in a really beautiful way. We're seeing the beauty in his voice. Wow! That's like, wow! Oh my goodness! That cool change. Okay, no wait. Before we even get into the operatic stuff, I just have to comment on the stuff we've just seen. So, what's really great about Dimash and the songs that he releases is that they are proper songs. These are well written songs with beautiful chord structures and harmony and something that you could sit down and look at the theory at. You know, this isn't something that's throwaway. This is something that, well, I mean, Dimash's voice deserves proper songs. Do you know what I mean? So we're so lucky that we're getting this quality of music. And I have to say that this has to be one of my favourite songs that Dimash has done so far. It's really kind of getting to me, the emotion of the song, the chords of the song. I just think that it's just a beautifully written song. Uh, and lyrically as well. I'm going to look into the lyrics a little bit further, slightly later, maybe after we've watched this performance. But so far, I am down. Okay, here comes the opera. Strings as well. So he had the little flip. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh. he wouldn't do this in this song. Why was I thinking this wasn't gonna happen? <laughs> I was so wrong. Uh, goodness me. Do you know what I liked about that? Is that he did his operatic section and then jumped down into the lower regions of his vocal. It's a great way of exposing his range in a very quick time period. Open jaw, great belt, centering himself, the vibrato, up, open, are you kidding me with that key change, there's like a cry in his vocal, See, that's tricky. That is a hard vocal. Going from those low notes and propelling yourself up, you have to be 100% sure you're going to hit that note, otherwise you can fly away. So that takes real preparation. Oh my gosh. Chamber strings. 
Mind blown. I have goosebumps all over my body right now. Why are they not standing up? Stand up! Standing ovation. Wow, that is just out of this world, beautiful. I love that song, I think that's incredible. And the dynamic build in that is perfect for Dimash and the whole thing just shows off his voice and the different things he can do with his voice, amazingly. Okay, so lyrics. What is left of all this love besides the pain that I fight against? We had the strength to live our dreams. Singing to you every note I conceive. See, this is where he lives the music. Wow. Heavy song in a sense, but the way that he delivers it carries it in a, in a sort of, it's like a floaty sort of song and it, and it really works. And I'm just lucky I live in a world where I can listen to that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments box below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button. Maybe give it a share and a like. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield. And don't forget to go and check out my own single ghost. Links in the description box down below. Okay, love you guys. See you soon. Bye.